Hi everyone, I'm Barbara from Fairies in My Pond and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to drill out the eyes for my ball jointed doll. Now then, I've been looking at several bits to use and I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by making a hole and then I'm going to see what I need to do next. Always when drilling with polymer clay, make sure that you're using um, some kind of protective eye eyewear and a mask. You don't want to inhale the dust from polymer clay because it is toxic. So here we go. Okay, there you have it. I've made my first hole. Now what I'll do is I'll just take my drill and I'll just keep going around that hole until I feel that I can't do it anymore with this bit and then I'll go to another bit. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with this. Drilled. And now comes kind of a tricky part and I have to just kind of experiment with this. I have another bit here and honestly I have to apologize for this because it came in a kit and I don't know the names of these bits. I do know that the the round ball one is a burr so maybe this is called a burr too but it has a little point to it. Now I'm going to just try and see how this is going to going to work but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill from the inside now but I want to be very careful because I don't want to hit the eyelid Okay, I have pretty much have it opened and the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to show you and I have to get my uh, little attachment here but what we need to do is we need to dig out from the inside of the the head now into a um, ball because we want the eye to fit into that cutout of a ball. Okay, let's see how this does. And I don't put the speed up real high. And I'm not doing any pressing down because I really want to see what this bit is going to, if it's going to give me what it is that I want. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to just go inside of the head very lightly. But I'm not taking off the, any of this. I'm trying to take it off down here between, between the eyes.
in the bit and I'm kind of laying it down. Always go real, real slow with this. It's better off to take off less in the beginning than too much. If you should, it can be repaired. Okay, that's pretty much all that I'm going to do with the eyes is I'm going to keep drilling this down and shaving off the, the, the outside of the hole here so that my eye will be able to fit into the back. I've done this eye, but not this one. And I want to show you the difference in what it is that I am drilling out. You see how much thicker it is in the back of the, the eye socket? Well, that's what I'm shaving down. And I thought I was going to have to use another tool, but it seems like I've only been using this one. Now I'm going to show you this. I have the size bead eye I will be using and I use that for a measurement and I'm just going to stick it in the back and that keeps showing me how much further I've got to drill in the back of that head. So you see the gap and you see I want that bead to be uh, flush against the back of the, the eye socket there. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to do some more drilling. Okay, everyone, um, I want to show you something here. And what I've done is I've just taken, uh, it was actually an old practice eye, but it's going to be the same size that I'm going to be using. And all I have is, I basically have it stuck in the back of the head, just to see how it is fitting inside. And I believe that I just want to just take down just a, a hair more but I've got to be very very careful but here's the thing that I want to show you is that when I had sculpted her face when after I cut it out and everything I noticed that the eyelid I didn't have it needed to be raised up right in here and at which I have already put a little bit of clay there to start it but I also need to raise it up just a little bit right up in here because what it's doing is it's like raised here but then it's like coming down flat so I just wanted to point that out to you that sometimes you you can actually correct your eyelid that way. Now let's say that you went ahead and you started drilling and you you chipped part of the eyelid. It's very easy to put that eyelid back in when you put just place your eye in and sculpt it around it but don't cook your eye in it. I just, you know, like I said, with my eyes, I cannot tell you if they can take the heat or anything, and I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, so I wanted to show you that that is how I basically will dr drill out the eyes. It takes practice, and always go slow with it. Make sure that you wear protective eyewear and a mask. Remember when I said how I was redoing the top of her head? Well, I have I have it started. Now this will be taken off. But I wanted to show you that that is how I had to redo it. <clears throat> now then, I was thinking what I really would like to do is I would like to put mag little tiny magnets in there the way that they do for the ball jointed dolls but in order for me to do that I would have to order them and I would have to wait and I don't know if I want to wait but I'm still gonna go ahead and order them and so maybe on my next one I'll do it but I wanted to show you that that I do have that going and then the other thing that I will be doing is that 
after I get the eyes all drilled out and everything, I already have my circle marked in for the neck. So I will make that hole there, and then I will have to see about how the ball is going to fix. So everyone, I'll see you in my next tutorial.